What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today is the very first day of the live Starland Arena for both Android and iOS. You can see people are already ranking up there. Um, I'm wondering what's going on, because as you guys saw in our video earlier today, where were we? Void Vortex? Um, fix Starland? I don't know what's broken, there was never really any reports on TapTap -tap about it, but... We're going to give it a go. Now, this is cross-platform. It'll tell you GP or iOS, depending on what platform you're on, just like on TapTap. -tap, they all said TapTap. -tap. So, very interesting. Uh, one thing you need to do, the first thing when you jump in, is set your amulets up, which are your buffs and debuffs that you're using on different lineups. Now, the one really annoying thing is, number one, of course, you can't change your defensive lineup. That It is what it is when you set it. So, throughout the season, your defense is the same. Your offense can get stronger. Uh, but here's one thing that I found really annoying. Like, yeah, there's other teams that are built up and everything. That's great. Usually, I feel like most people are going to try to win the first couple battles if they don't have many. Oh, you have to reset up your teams again, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> Like <laughs> it's kind of annoying. It's it's sort of kind. I don't know, um, but yeah, it's it's something you do have to take into consideration here. Uh, and then you also have to set your buffs and debuffs. So uh, we're gonna try to do some of our battles here. We're gonna set up our lineups. I don't want that on this one. I don't want that one. I think that's the one I want. I want to go for attack with this team right here. Uh, next up, the second lineup. We got three heroes. I think three heroes we're going to use as a lineup that we don't care as much about if we win or lose. So we're going to kind of use some of our transcendence heroes that are more throwaway fodder heroes. Um, yeah, we got a lot of options for actual heroes we're using here. On this one, uh, maybe just increasing allies armor is probably a better one because it's the least one I care about. Uh, we got three more lineups to go. I kind of want to build our last lineup because our last lineup, I think, is going to be pretty much our main one that we're going to be focusing on. Now, one downside is I really don't have my Sherlock set up the way I want him to be, but he still provides a lot of support for this team. I'm even going to go Shielding. Oh, wait. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, sure. That's fine. Shielding energy, and then we'll do HP down here, I guess. Uh, and then on top of that, we are going to go with the block one that I picked out. So, increases all allies block by 50%. That's really cool. Uh, we I want an energy team here. So, what I'm thinking of doing is... Where is... Wait. Wait. Why am I missing a hero? Oh, that's why. <laughs> Where's all my heroes gone? We're going to do something funky on this one here. So we're going to throw in a cruise, and then we're going to go for energy artifact speed gameplay. <laughs> um, wait, where'd he go? Oh, you can only have five in that lineup. That's right. Oops, I'm stupid. Uh, let's take you out and put you in there. That should be fine. So we're going to go with like an energy type feed setup. And on this one, I think we're going to go with this here. We're going to uh, lower the, I think that's a good way to do it. And then we have another one more lineup to do. So we just have like the rest of our heroes are going to kind of go in this. Although Eos, I really want Eos in a better lineup. I could just put Eos down here then. I could just grab her and drag her down to the main lineup, the big beefy one down here. I think that's going to be good. And then down here, we need three more heroes to throw in. Uh, at this point, I wish there was a way to just filter through heroes that have void imprints. Those are just like tenant heroes. I don't know if we have anything else. I think they're even just set up as tenant heroes. We don't have much to work with on this last lineup that I particularly like. But we could just throw in some randomness and maybe he will work out. Honestly, you know what we could try doing? <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute, let's do this. Let's put you here. Can we, okay, let's do this. <laughs> 
<laughs> this could be interesting. Wait a minute. Now I want to change something up too. I want to get rid of you and you and put you back and you there. No, actually, I want you there. Let's take rid of you and get put. Yeah, okay. That looks better. I like that. So this one here, um, <laughs> I guess this one doesn't really work out for us as well. Uh, but this is going to be a weird cheese composition to see if he can clear some stuff out. But uh, good lord, I hope we can win some of these battles here today. I know that mostly was just set up here. I figured Sword Flash and Drake is probably going to work out better than Sword Flash and Rogan because our Sword Flash is still kind of speedy. Uh, I don't know if it actually shows all the battles either. There is a skip button. The one thing I have seen people complain about is they just want a skip button for all the battles. Because, like, if you just watch this through, it does take time for sure. Oh, man, she's way too fast. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> we got the crew stun, hopefully. Yeah, we're, uh, most of these battles are going to be boring to watch like that. But I feel like, essentially, you want to go through and try to clear these out. The other thing is you can purchase up to 10 of these a day. If you don't purchase them in one day, it's fine. You can do it the next day as well. Uh, but what I really do think there should be a skip button. I think the skip button is probably one of the most important things to have because if you do this, it does skip all the battles, which is cool. Um, and if you know you're just going to win anyway. Ooh, I actually forgot something. I forgot to activate all these guys too. You got to remember to activate all of your cores on top of that. Uh, so far though, I think it's a cool game mode overall. I hope we can get like one or two good battles. If we don't, it kind of feels like a waste. I feel actually, you know, I feel like it's probably going to be a few days until you come up against teams that are actually strong enough to have good competition. Yeah, we're just kind of crushing all these. It gives you a free refresh here. I don't know if fighting stronger opponents gives you more points. Because we're getting like 45 per battle. But then again, we're not coming across anybody that has like significantly powerful heroes. Maybe Woody at the top of this list has a stronger one. Because if not, we're just getting 45 points for every matchup. I mean, that's cool. Maybe that's the fix is that <laughs> you don't always get stronger opponents. But like this one here, we're still facing teams that are just not even complete because there's not enough awakened heroes on people's accounts. I think the first couple days are going to be a little rough for some players like this. And you notice I don't even have to use the free refresh here because uh, we're just clearing everything out. When you clear everything out, you should just progress perfectly fine. You don't need to hit the refresh button to get different opponents. <sighs> yeah, maybe the first couple days are going to be a little boring. The one thing I do like is there is a finite number of attacks you can do. So you can't just infinitely attack and attack and attack. It's just you're set with what you're set. Here's one. Maybe this one is worth watching. Let's see how these battles play out. We're going to keep our same team lineups. Oh, God, we might actually lose this one. Yeah, I think we actually lose the first battle here. Uh Oh, Unless sword flash does some crazy sword flash stuff. He is dodging, but yeah, eventually it's going to run out. So, whew, that was a pretty strong Vessa right there. And actually, a lot of their teams are stronger. Uh-oh, we're going to have to clear out the last three battles to have a chance here, I think. <laughs> this ain't going good. Oh, man. I think one thing we're also struggling on on our account is the amount of Stellar Shards we have. All right, we have to win all three of these. Otherwise, we lose points. Or at least just not gain points. And this team might be a little sketchy. Let's see how our star swordsman Mockman can do on this account. He's going to be able to get lots of energy. And there's tons of healing here too. <laughs> oh god. He's not even going to get an active hop here, is he? We got feeding energy everywhere. Poison snake. Interesting. Yeesh. He keeps healing back up. But the carry is not letting him have it. Oh, we're so dead. We just lost because we have this stupid cheese team. Oh, man. We got to come up with better one and two teams here. Even this team's really not that great, to be honest, guys. <laughs> oh, I don't even know if I have the Rui on the cruise now that I think about it. I think I might have messed our teams up for this season, but we should get a victory on this one. No, no, we're dead. We're totally dead. Olivia is surprisingly very strong. <sighs> okay, so we took a loss there. Let's see. We got five more attacks, and then we'll see where we are rank-wise on day one with losing one battle. 
We got a clean sweep there. And if if the strength of your enemies doesn't matter, it maybe what the bug or the uh, the fix is is people just refreshing and get weak teams to get as many points as possible, which is interesting. Um, like that, we can fight this one. That, and that might be what people are doing is they're just spamming refresh to get enemies that they know they can beat early on. Like this one here, it's a bit stronger, but you could just do a free refresh and move on from that. We should get a win there too. That puts us at 805, and I think that might be kind of it because 805 right now, well, huh. Maybe fighting stronger opponents does give you better points. That's interesting. I mean, I know we only lost one battle, but. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Because we should have been at like 900 essentially. So maybe people need to keep refreshing for strong opponents and strong opponents give you a better boost. We'll have to see, but rewards are gonna be pretty solid. The first few days they are gonna be very low tier and then they'll build up over time. So let me know what you guys think about Starland Arena. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.